Today on WFMS, we have some reminders and dates to be aware of as we are beginning our week. The D&D Club and the Yoke Club will be meeting today. Teens for Christ will be meeting tomorrow. We have a shout out for Science Bowl Club and they will be meeting this week. Keep those book donations coming and a raffle prize could be yours. We have some more online do's and don'ts in our Tech Talk Tuesday. We have some baseball updates for you today. The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Tinsley. And I'm Connor. Welcome to your home for news, announcements, and more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. Roll the dice, fast go, collect 200. Are you ready for some game time? The Board Games and Chess Club will be meeting this afternoon in Mrs. Link's room in Navy Pod 212 from 345 to 430. Also, make sure your ride home is promptly here at 4.30. See you then. If you attend the Yoke Club, please remember we will have our next Yoke meeting tonight. Remember that the Yoke Club meeting will be meeting at 7 p.m. in the FMS school cafeteria. Our theme will be balloons tomorrow night. We hope to see you there. D&D members, listen up. We want to remind you that you will be meeting this afternoon. We will be meeting from 3.45 till 4.45. Please make sure your parents are aware. TFC, Teens for Christ, will meet tomorrow morning in the Studio Theater from 7.50 to 8.20. There will be games, activities, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. The Science Bowl Club will be meeting this Thursday. We will meet from 3.45 to 5 o'clock. Please have your ride here at 5. We will meet every Thursday in room 251, Orange B, Mrs. Browning's room. Congratulations to the Science Bowl teams A and B. Both teams competed on Saturday at the regional competition in Kingsport, Tennessee. Team B had only one loss, and that was to Team A. Team B finished first in the consolation round. Team A had one loss in the round robin, but won the elimination round, and therefore were the winners of the regional tournament. For this accomplishment, they won $500, and will travel to Washington, D.C. on an all-expense paid trip to the National Science Bowl Finals to compete for the national title. Congratulations on this enormous achievement. FMS Honor Society continues to partner with the FHS Book Club to donate books to Friends of Literacy. Books can be dropped off in the front under the Students of the Semester Wall now until March 1st. There's a high need of children's books. Thank you in advance for your donations. That's it for announcements. Now for our Tech Talk Tuesday. I'm Nora. And I'm Heidi. Now for our Tech Talk Tuesday segment. In our Tech Talk Tuesday segments, we want to continue to provide information and encouragement for our students and teachers to be informed about tech trends and the ins and outs of digital citizenship and making wise online decisions. Today we have some more installments in our series of some do's and don'ts for not letting your social media use or online activities negatively affect your life. Here's our quick digital citizenship Germany can't quote for this week. Freedom of speech doesn't justify online bullying. Words have power. Be careful how you use them. That's good. Yep. Online choices can make or break your, you or someone else. Choose wisely. Here's our first don't for today, which is similar to the one of last week's. Don't post things when you are emotional. When you are at a heightened state of emotion, you may not be thinking clearly or able to form your ideas or thoughts. Don't use the internet as a means for sorting through your feelings. Rather, meet up with a trusted adult or friend to help you work through your emotions. Here's another very important do for today. This, this one is about online security. Make sure you use different usernames and passwords for your sites. Don't use the same one all the time. Many people use the same username and password for all their sites, and this is not a good idea. If someone figures out your security information, they will have access to everything. It's best to set up different usernames and passwords for maximum protection. Stay tuned, for next, stay tuned next week for more do's and don'ts of establishing a positive and dynamic online social media presence and reputation that will follow and help you for years to come. That's it for our Tech Talk Tuesday. Now for a quick sports update. Hi, 
I'm BT. And I'm Olivia. Now for a quick sports update. The spring baseball season is in full swing and we want to make sure you are aware of the game schedules each week. Your support is always needed and appreciated. Today we'll have new schedules and sixth grade scores and some stats. Farragut 6 won 3-2 over Hardin Valley JV, major in the season opener. And we have a few stats for you as well. M. Massey had one, just over one innings pitched, two hits, two runs, and three strikeouts. C. Goodrich had just over two innings pitched, no hits or runs, and six strikeouts. L. Taylor was 2-3 to three with one run. C. Childers had one walk and one run. And C. Coldbreath had one run. Now for our baseball game schedules for this week. The sixth grade team will be taking on Catholic Gold tonight at 7.45 p.m. And they will play Halls on Thursday night on the 22nd at 6 p.m. They hit the field again on Saturday afternoon, the 24th, at 1.30 p.m. All games will be played at the Knox County Sports Park at 8050 Oak Ridge Highway. We hope to see you there. Our 7th graders will be taking on Oak Ridge at Oak Ridge on Wednesday, the 21st, at 6 p.m. They'll play Halls on Friday, the 23rd, at 6 p.m. and hit the field again on Saturday evening, the 23rd, at 8 p.m. Both of these games will be played at the Knox County Sports Park, 8050 Oak Ridge Highway. We hope to see you there. Our 8th graders will be taking on Sevier County at Knoxville Catholic tonight at 6 p.m. They play West Valley on Thursday, the 22nd, at 6 p.m., also at Knoxville Catholic. They will hit the field again on Saturday morning, the 24th, at 9.30 a.m., and they will play at the Knox County Sports Park at 8050 Oak Ridge Highway. We hope to see you there. That's it for sports. Now back to the news desk. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals News Network. We hope you have a great day and evening. Make good choices. Be kind. And stay safe. We will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.